Hi folks, thanks for joining me for this week's River Tutorial. Without further ado, let's get into it. In the vice then is a Hanak H333 barbless hook. This one's at size 14. It's a fine wire hook and it's in black nickel. The silk I'm going to be using today is from Sempify. It's a 18 -0 and it's olive. I would have preferred uh, black, but I've run out of black, so I'm going to use the olive. I need the thinness though. So first thing I'm going to do, as always, is add a little tiny bit of super glue just to the shank of the hook, so that I make sure my nano silk is embedded in there properly. A few turns just to get it on, and then I can trim away my waist. Okay, next I'm going to add the CDC. I'm using some of the Hanak CDC feather. Um, it's just a natural feather and I've taken two plumes out the packet and all I'm going to do is marry up the tips. Try and get rid of any rubbish that's been on the fly time bench uh, out the way. And then I can just... And I want about a little... For a size 16 I want just over... Um, a centimetre. I'm going to bring it to an eighth of an inch back from the eye of the hook, dress it up and get a couple of turns down, just check that. Now what I would say here is make sure that you've left room here because you're going to get a bit of dubbing in that because you want it to cock up. So once you've got it secure and you're happy with the position, come down about an eighth of an inch and then cut at an angle your CDC. Now what that does, it will give you a taper to the body. Then just take your tine silk down and you can see the taper slowly starting to form. Now as I get towards the end of my taper, I'm going to bring in my wire rib. And what I'm using for the wire rib is just some silver small wire. Uh, I've, again, I've lost the label, my apologies. Got a bit off here that I've been working with, so I'm just going to dress it up and I'm bringing it just up to where the bulk was to try and maintain some semblance of uh, an even body. Catch that in like so, and I've brought it back so that I'm just as it's starting to go around to the, the apex of the bend of the hook. Now, the body material itself, this is some violet, and it's, uh, it's tinsel from GMC. It's, it's uh, an unusual colour, and it did catch my eye. Now, it might seem a bit strange, because there's probably very little in nature that um, looks like this. But, what I would say is, sometimes, when there's a big hatch on, similar to Canis or whatnot, uh, fish will very often take something out of the ordinary, something that's a bit unusual and that's where this little fly comes in handy and it's, it's, um, it's bailed me out on more than one occasion where I've not been able to really match the hatch put something on completely different and uh, very often fish will just take it no problem at all because they're curious and it's not like they've got hands to feel it so they come up and mouth it, and that's all she wrote on many occasions. So bring that up the body, nice touch and turns. Bring it all the way to about just over an eighth of an inch. Then you can lock it down with your thread, or silk, should I say, and then remove the waste. Okay, next then we're going to bring our, our rib up, and I want fairly open turns actually, I don't want too much of this rib. So even though it's a very small fly, I'm doing nice big open turns, so I'm getting about four turns before I get into the thorax. Then turn it over, 
sorry, catch it in with your silk. Couple of turns in front, keep the thread under tension. You should then be able to work your wire until it's free. And for the thorax material, I'm going to use some uh, seals for black claret. This one is from uh, Cook's Hill. And I'll just take a little pinch out of there. Now, with seals for, I find it's much easier to get some wax onto your silk or thread. So I'm just going to add a little bit of wax. And I just find that the, the seals for behaves a lot better for you if you do that. Um, it can be a bit of a bugger actually to, to dub seals for. Takes uh, quite a bit of practice. But with anything, it does come with time. So I'm going to get several wraps in for my thorax. Now when I've got about an inch of um, dubbing left, I want to lift my CDC up and come in front. And bringing my thread to the front. Tiny little bit of super glue onto the thread. And then I can come in with a whip finish tool and finish off. Now because I uh, added the super glue to the thread, there's no need to come in with a, uh, a brush or a stick to varnish the head because that will hold now no problem at all. And I know it might look innocuous but this is a, a cracking wee fly and, and it works really well when all else is failing. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please think about clicking the button. I'd very much appreciate it.